There are many reasons to learn TDD, but in this video I will share with you five of the most convincing ones. Likely, you are on the side of the camp where TDD doesn't make a lot of sense. And I get that, I used to look at test-driven development as a strange idea, as something that doesn't make a lot of sense to do. It honestly looks like a waste of time, and I know how hard it is to change that idea. However, I'm willing to take the challenge trying to move you. So by the end of this video, you are willing to give it a chance. One way that I like to see test-driven development is as a getting things done methodology for software developers. Why? Because with TDD, you will split your problem into multiple small steps. By doing so, you will be focused on one problem at a time, one tiny small piece that you can evolve. So you don't need to juggle a lot of things in your mind. You can be really focused. You, you start achieving things quite fast and you can see the progress that you are doing towards your goal. You don't need to take huge leaps until the moment and you can finally commit your change. So if the massive productivity industry that you know out there teaches us something is that we should focus and we should deal with one small problem at a time. And that is a good definition for test-driven development. Another way to be more productive is to not spend as much time fixing defects, being focused on evolving the software. And that takes us to another reason to use test-driven development. By its nature, test-driven development will lead you to have a lot of tests in place. You will be focused on one feature at a time. By the end, you will have less defects than following another methodology. And there are some studies that prove that. And that is one of the things that I talk on my brand new course at Thome Train. On that course, I take you through a journey to become addicted to test-driven development. You don't need to know anything about test-driven development to start that course. And then we'll go through every single thing that is important to know. We will also talk about things like how to improve your tests. You can take those lessons to other testing practices as well. And while many of the existing courses that exist out there have a huge price tag and they are only focused on building some katas, on this one, we spend a lot of time building enterprise software from the logic to the database to the API. So don't waste the opportunity and be one of the first to enter it by using the coupon code GTDD and you can take this course with 20% discount. So you know the story of the rabbit and the turtle, where the turtle challenged the rabbit for the race. I see the debate of test first and test after as kind of the same thing, where test after looks like the obvious winner, so it's the rabbit, while on the other hand we have the turtle that is moving slow, but eventually it will cause a surprise. And the turtle is test first. And why do I say that? Test-driven development brings productivity gains. CCT proves the maintainability you have a gain in the long term. And you might not be sensible to this argument. You know that you can build software easy to maintain. You are experienced. You know how to write tests on top of the existing code. However, I have a challenge for you. When you write tests after, or you even don't test, the most common tool that you'll be using in your day-to-day -day besides writing code is to start the debugger. And I want to challenge you to start taking note of the start time when you click the button to run the debugger and when you stop it. And by the end of a coding session, take some time to understand the percentage of the time that you have been writing that code that was assigned to run the debugger. Most of that time will not exist when you practice test-driven development because the tool that you tend to use for that is simply writing tests and run the test render. So you'll save a lot of time on that. So most of the time that you invest in running the debugger will in fact be applied to write those tests. When you bring only one change, or only one small change at a time into software and each change, you make sure that you have tests in place. One thing that you will quickly feel is confidence. You will feel safe. You will know that you can refactor that source code without being concerned with it. You know that you can sleep well. You know that if you are on call, the likelihood of getting a call in the middle of the night is not as high as someone working on a team where they don't practice test-driven development. So we can say that is a practice that takes you to safety and low stress. And that is an amazing reason to practice test-driven development. 
it will remove from your day-to-day -day all the drama and the heroism hacks that we are always looking for in software development. It doesn't need to be on that way. On the Accelerate book, a book where the authors compiled information and studies about the elite performers in the software development industry, they mention test-driven development as one of the methodologies that leads to continuous delivery. So when we spend so much time learning how Netflix is doing microservices, how Meta is building reactive UIs, all of those things from the huge organizations, the tech giants, I think that is a good enough reason to learn test-driven development. And if you want to join them, but first you need to learn test-driven development, remember that you can take my course with 20% discount, all the information in the description. And if you still are not convinced, make sure that in the meantime, you watch this video right here.